<laughs> I mean, he's just, he's just asking for it, right? What am I going to do? Let him ruin my barbed wire? What's up, zombie slayers? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for 7 Days to Die Alpha 17 Vanilla. I love vanilla, man. Vanilla, I know I always say this, man, but vanilla ice cream is my absolute favorite. Whenever I get cakes, it's vanilla all the freaking way. Hells yeah. All right, so what do we got going on here? Well, we have some more picnic tables, but we're going to leave those alone right now. Actually, we're going to take those and we're going to put them in the trader box so we remember to sell them. All right, I am also in the process of making a bunch of barbed wire and I also might need some more spike traps. I've got all the guns with me I'm going to want and one of you guys helpfully brought to my attention, I can craft an AK. So there we go. I got an AK. That is really, really awesome. Um, let's take the mods out of this bad boy. And put all of these in the old AK. Is there any other mods we would want to put in the AK? Uh, uh, what is what does this do for me? Increases the rate of fire. Okay. On self-loading weapons and increases recoil. Okay. I don't know if I want to. I don't know if I want to make the AK shoot faster and have worse recoil. So I probably will not use that. But let's use a silencer. People have been asking me to use a silencer. I want to actually. I want to actually test the silencer. Uh, but before we do that. Uh, do we need a semi-automatic or group of two semi? No, nah, I don't really need a semi-automatic uh, mod for this. I think this. I think what I have is right now is good. So I want. I, what I'm thinking about the silencer is I thought the silencer lowers the damage. Okay. Now silencers might be broken in this in this uh, in vanilla. I don't know. But the fact of the matter is, um, if it doesn't like lower the damage, then maybe I'll use it anyway. Let's see. All right, 42 damage. Oh, it raises the damage. Uh, it also lowers the effective range by quite a bit. Hmm, you know what? Uh, 42, 46. You know what? I don't think I want to lower the effective range. Uh, what does that do? That's the grip. That's, uh, negative weapon handling. Uh, recoil. So that adds damage and makes the weapon handling better. I believe. Yep. Alright, so that's definitely a good one. Now, do I want to put the silencer in there? Because I don't really have anything else to put in there. The silencer would up the damage. Um, I just, I don't want to make, I don't want to make the range worse. Uh, divert, uh, reduce recoil. And we can also turn it in a different color. Let's go with red. All right, you know what? I think I am not going to use the silencer. Just because I don't want to, I don't know what effective range means. But... It doesn't sound good to lower it. That's what I'm thinking. So uh, I'm going to put that in there and that in there. And now we're doing 63 damage. So that's 58, 63. So it's the same thing. 58. You can't put that in with the muzzle anyway. All right, there we go. So we've got a pretty kick-ass uh, AK there, which is really nice. So we got our AK. Thank you for bringing that to my attention. I just did not think about the fact that I could make an AK. All right, uh, what do we got in here? All right, so we got a bunch of that being made. We got a bunch of... We need iron. All right, we need a lot of iron. And um, I think what we're going to do tonight is I'm going to go into the mine. And I actually found some iron in my mine. What the hell was that? Hold on. Hold on, let me get my fist of fury out just in case something goes wrong here. Eh, must have been hearing things. All right, when I was down in my mine mining the other day, I actually found some iron. Um, so that was freaking awesome. When you guys told me that where I was digging in this mine was actually iron, and I was like, well, I mined out all the iron. And they were like, no, keep going. Go below the floor. And I was like, oh, okay. And I went below the floor. This is the floor they were talking about. So what I did was I came over here, and I was already mining over here anyway. So I went ahead and went this way, and check it out. Found a bunch of iron. So that is going to be a good time, guys. Enjoy the mind lapse.
All right, guys, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, we're just going to kind of finish up this last bit of gas, and then we're going to head on up top and get some of this cooking. Uh, we've actually run into some coal down here, which is really nice. I thought I had some potassium nitrate down here. If I have some potassium nitrate down here, this is just going to be the best mine ever. I mean, oh, hold on. You hear that? All right, here we go. Come on, come on. Get on out of this hole. Come on, here we go. I'm so freaking slow. Okay. What's up? Just one of you? Really? I came up here for just one freaking zombie? Okay. Well, I just punched you out. What was she attacking? I don't even... Was she trying to dig or... It doesn't look like she was attacking the wall or the doors. Yeah, I think she might have been trying to dig. I don't know. But this thing did its job. I didn't do my job because I wasn't paying attention. Um, I should have heard her. Uh, although it's it's kind of hard to hear her over the auger. But it definitely did its job. Just sucks there was only one zombie. I would have liked it if it was more than one. Because then I could have been like, yeah, what up, zombies? What up, bro? Hit me. Okay. So that was, what, six hit points? Okay, I can take that. How many hit points do you think he lost? 60? 600? 6 million? All right, how much uh, iron did we get out of there? Oh my god, two and a half stacks, and we actually got a good amount of um, a good amount of stone as well because I actually need the stone uh, quite a bit as well. So yeah, all right, let's go up and throw this iron. I I might actually get both of the forges going with iron at this point, um, although I don't have a lot of clay. Don't have a lot of clay. Do I have any clay on me? No, do not have a lot of clay on me. All right, maybe, maybe I won't get both going. No, actually, hold on. Let's do this. And let's do this. And then let's do this. And then let's do this. And this. Uh, that's going for 60 minutes. We want that to go for a lot longer than that. I don't know about that many minutes, but... 153? 107 sounds good to me. Okay, so you're doing good. Why don't you go ahead and make some more cement. And then we're going to go right here. And you've got the iron in there. And we'll give you some more iron. And we want you to go for quite a while. 96 sounds about good to me. Okay. Looking good. Looking good. All right. So we actually have a decent amount of stone. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. We need a lot more. Um, maybe I should cook some more stone in there. Uh, yeah. Probably should. I probably should cook some more stone in there, actually. Yeah. Another thousand stone. And we'll put that where the, where the uh, iron is. And then we'll take this iron out. And we'll load this one completely up. There we go. That's better. Alright. Do I have anything in here? Nope. Uh, do I have everything I need? I think we do. Let's get to working on the base. Alright. The first thing I want to do down here is replace and repair all of the spikes. Because there's actually a good amount of spikes missing. I didn't I didn't quite realize that. Um, we're, we're also going to need a, um, a lot of iron. Because um, I didn't have as many spikes made as I thought I did. Um, a lot of that testing that I did kind of hurt me. Because um, it chewed up a lot of my spikes. So, you know, what are you going to do? Just the way it goes sometimes. Let's go ahead and repair this stuff. Oh, I didn't even notice a lot of this stuff was torn out. Alright, well, let's go upstairs and uh, get some of our other uh, materials as well. We're going to need... Um... Man, I'm really flying up those uh, ladders. It's kind of weird. Uh, what else can... What can we keep up here? Let's just keep all this ammo up here. There we go. Because I don't like being slow. Uh, oh, boy. And through the power of editing, I now have everything I need. <laughs> so let's go ahead and repair this. Um, I needed rebar, basically. I ran out of rebar last episode. Completely forgot. Um, so I went ahead and made some rebar ramps, which is what I need right here. So let's go ahead and copy rotation. Put that down. Upgrade. I think I'm also uh, debating making these into steel. I'm not really sure. I might, I might not. We'll have to see. Let's do the spikes first. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to dump off what we do not want to mess around with in the motorcycle. So what I do not want to mess around with is, hold on, uh, concrete or, is there anything I could take out of the motorcycle? Concrete or forged steel. That's what I don't want on me right now. Um, all I want is, all I want is what I need to repair the spike. So I don't accidentally upgrade something I don't want, I don't want to. Not that I don't want to upgrade this stuff. It's just, um, you know, I don't want to waste resources upgrading something that's not, 
of utmost concern. Why the hell is my phone not muted? Rookie mistake, Cage. Rookie mistake. All right. Let's go ahead and grab our spikes. We've got 74 spikes. Should be enough. And we're also going to grab the wood frames so we can work from above. Okay. And there we go. Like so. That one can go like that. Uh, and then go like that. Now nah, we're going to do this one like this. I'm probably going to put these down like differently every time, to be honest. Um... So, I'm thinking, yeah, no, nah, I'm still thinking like this. Like that, and that can go like that. And then you, my friend, can go like that. Like that. This one can go on either side, so it doesn't really matter, so we'll put that right there. Let's go ahead and uh, brighten this up a little bit for you guys. That's a little too bright. Okay. And then you, my friend, can go like so. Okay. And then, uh, that looks good for this side. I can't really tell if this stuff, if these, uh, spikes are repaired. But they look pretty good. We should be okay. We should be okay. Alright. And, uh... Okay. Wow, that's really dark, man. There we go. Even with the, uh... Even with the gamma up all the way, it still gets freaking dark. There we go. Alright, so you, my friend, will be like that, that, that. Uh, why are these all facing that way? That's kind of weird. Yeah, whatever. Like I said, I'm probably going to put these down differently every time. <laughs> so, it is what it is. Do that and then that. It's just whatever. It, honestly, it really doesn't matter which way they face. Okay. And these are looking good. These just need a little bit of repairing. Come on. We are gonna need a lot more forged iron, people. Like a ton of freaking forged iron. Don't forget all those bars up there. Like most of them are wooden. That's not gonna. That ain't gonna fly. That ain't gonna fly, McFly. You bozo. All right, and then we got a lot to replace over here. Come on. There you go. Okay. Looking good. And yeah, look at all these. A lot of this got destroyed when I was testing. <laughs> so. Come on. There we go. None of this stuff should be on, right? Nope. Okay, looking good, looking good. Hopefully they come from this way again. That would be awesome. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and replace this. We got to do all our concrete stuff now, you know, because it'll dry, you know, so uh, it needs time to dry is what I'm trying to say. Uh, copy rotation. Okay, we'll come back and do that. Uh, copy rotation. These spots shouldn't get hit as hard because now they're going to be going for the middle part. I really want to get some steel up on that middle part. Um, thinking I'm I'm definitely going to do that actually. All right, so go this way. Come on. There you go. And let's go ahead and repair this bad boy. I wonder if next episode is going to be Horde Night. Honestly, I don't know. I really don't know. Yeah, that'll work. And then let's go on the other side and get all the rest of the spikes out. We have a lot of mining to do. We have a, we're going to have to stream this game. We're going to have to stream this game without recording at some point. Just to get some of the mining done. Alright. So. Uh... Alright. You, yeah, you can go like that. That's fine. And then, uh, yeah, it's fine too. It does not make any difference, guys, which way the spikes face. It makes absolutely zero difference. I just do it because it's fun. I try and put them in a way where the spikes are kind of facing the way where the zombies would be coming from. 
And it does not make any kind of difference. Okay. Alright. And I'll just put them like different ways each time. I'm not going to have one set way. And even if I did want to have one set way, I can never remember. So, it's kind of irrelevant. Okay. And you will go like that, that, that. Man, we are just going to have enough for this. Come on. And let's repair that. Some stuff on the ground. No. Okay. Alright. I think that's good enough. I think that's good spikes for the first night. Or the next night. Day 28, night 28, whatever you want to call it. All right, so let's come on in here and let's grab our concrete. And let's go ahead and uh, fix up all the, the, the places that need concrete. Like, th like this. Oh, I gotta get a nail gun. Do you think a nail gun will be quicker here? I I'm not convinced. I'm not... Oh! Scared the crap out of me, bro. I wasn't even ready to punch you dick. What a dick. There we go. Repair everything. Everything needs repairs. Shh. You hear that? Do I hear that? Probably hearing things. Okay. Man, this one got hammered right here. Now, these sides should not be getting hammered next Horde Night. They should be coming right in for the middle. And I have some ideas on the middle, too. Um, to make it even more... I mean, this this video is going to be all about the bottom part, and next video is going to be all about the upper part. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do another video before Horde Night, by the way. Just working on the upper part of the base. All right. Are we looking good here now? Uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good. We gotta start working on those other towers, too, man. We got a lot of work to do here. A lot of work. That's concrete. Everything else good? That's concrete. And that's concrete. Okay. Alright, now, let's spend our steel wisely. So, I'm thinking... Number one place for steel is to protect the dart traps, right? Now, we don't have any dart traps on this side, so let's steal up this side. And we're going to be very careful. I mean, eventually this whole thing is going to be steel, but I want to use it I want to use it sparingly in the beginning. So, steel, steel, steel. Okay. And then I think we'll do... I think we'll do all of those steel. Not this corner, though. I just want to repair this corner. Okay. Steel. Steel. And steel. Trying really hard not to fall on these spikes. Walking backwards is not the best way to keep from falling on your spikes, but 200 left. It's 20 blocks worth. Well, 19. Okay. Steel, steel, steel. Oh, all right. Well, that's fine. Not what I would have chosen to do, but it's going to have to be steel eventually anyway, so... Okay. Steel. There we go. Okay. Stealing it up, people. Stealing it up. Uh, 129 left. Oh, cool. All right. Let's um, let's head back to base and see what we got going on over there. Hey right, guys, we got a bit more steel and a bit more. Um, I made a bit more forged iron. 
Man, it's going slow though. It takes a long time to make that stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and upgrade this to steel as much as we can all the way around. All the way around. Because that's the next step. They might hit the block above it, but I don't know. I think this block would be the one they're going to hit the most. So, what's up, boar? Keep an eye out for me, buddy. Keep an eye out for old Cage. Okay. So, we will have enough steel to have this entire area um, in all, in all steeled up by the uh, by the time Horde Knight comes. Because I got a lot more steel. I got like 80 more being made, and I got a lot of iron to cook. So, we should have enough steel for Horde Knight. For at least this layer. Which will help. Because don't forget, man. This is, this is where it's at. The Inner Sanctum. That's where it's at, man. That's where they're going to be trying to get in. So... Got to watch out for that. All right. So I think the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go up. Th we're going to go up top. And we're going to start working on the up top. I was going to do that next episode, but we might as well start now because there's nothing else to do down here. Um, well, I guess we'll use all the forge iron. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this. And it looks just about it. Oh, you know what we could, you know what else we could do? We could put down some barbed wire. Why not? Right. So where do I want to put the barbed wire? Anywhere? Everywhere? I don't know. Why not? Let's just put it wherever we feel like it. There we go. And should we put it on the floor? Now the thing is, you could put it on the floor. The thing I don't, I don't like about putting it on the floor is I forget it's there. You know what I mean? But it definitely is the best way to go. Oh, come on. There we go. I just don't like it on the floor because I forget it's here. I'm going to walk over this continuously, just so you guys know. So, be prepared to laugh your asses off. This won't last long, um, but it will give me a little bit of time in the beginning of the hordes. And, you know, it helps, it helps a lot more than you might think. It really does. And it's dirt cheap. Stuff's dirt cheap. So. Okay... Go ahead and put some more right here. And then we're going to come over this way. I do like putting it up sideways. Now, putting it up sideways, putting it up, you know, um, vertically is not... It, it basically makes it easier for them to break it out. It's definitely not a better way to do things. Now, the reason I like putting it vertically is because it looks badass. It completely looks badass vertically. It's, I mean, it, it simply doesn't work as well. But, man... It looks cool. Just get the crap out of me. What are you doing? Get off my barbed wire, dude. Alright, this guy just wants to get killed. Let's punch him. There we go. <laughs> I mean, he's just, he's just asking for it, right? What am I going to do? Let him ruin my barbed wire? I think not. There you go. All right, let's continue putting down some barbed wire. Okay, and then we'll put some over here. Right across here? Sure, why not? Can we put it in there? Yes, we can. All right. It's working out. And let's just put some by the stairs, because why the heck not? We're just going to put it everywhere, you know? Like I said, this stuff is so cheap, it's not even funny. It really is. Thought I saw something behind me. Okay... I mean, doesn't this look cool, guys? I think it looks cool. Uh, on face. Nope. Advanced rotation. Turn off the timer. And let's finish this up. I really think I'm hearing stuff. Whoops. Whatever. It's all good. 
uh, copy rotation. Whatever, just throw it everywhere. It don't make no difference. It really doesn't. Just put it everywhere. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put some more down. But, you know what, guys? There is not much more to say here. So I'm just going to continue laying this stuff down, and I think you see what we're doing here. Next episode, we're going to be working up there and, and getting that part ready. And then uh, the episode after that will be Horde Night. Should be a lot of fun. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.